Good morning. It's time to do some business. And the Petroleum Commission says it will soon take action against 13 oil and gas companies that have taken oil blocks at the Ten and Jubilee fields, leaving them dormant. According to the Commission, out of 17 oil blocks sold between 2013 and 2016, 13 of the blocks still exist without exploration, making the country lose huge investments in the sector. Chief Executive Officer of the Petroleum Commission, Egbert Fabil Jr., disclosed that the Commission will make a determination for the Ministry of Energy to sanction or revoke the licenses of owners of these blocks by December. You know, plan to ensure that our fields are not just fallow, that people don't just take blocks and sit on them without doing anything. We have, in the course of the last year, held two rounds of meetings with them. People's uh, um, work programs and what have you under scrutiny and i'm sure that by the end of this year we'll make recommendations to the honorable minister of energy and for that matter the deputy ministers that so and so and so number of companies are not deserving of the blocks and so the blocks should be re-entered and reprocessed by ghana and added on i believe to the second round second round of licensing that, that we intend to embark upon. So at the Petroleum Commission, we've done really serious work, and I reviewed them as we speak. Um, I think that in about a week or so, um, some companies have meetings with our technical team and our board, where you know their performance over the period um, has been looked at. And they asked for some grace period to enable them to catch up. Well, that time is up. And uh, well, when we meet them, we'll see. By December, we'll write to the ministry pointing out which blocks are, uh, and, and which companies are not doing any serious work, for which reason Ghana must repossess their, their blocks. But it lies in the bosom of the ministry to do the termination. So who will do the recommendations? The ministry will then do the final, you know, let's say steps or actions on the recommendations. We're off to the Insurance Commission now, and the Commissioner of the NIC has issued a strong warning to deal with insurance companies which are undercapitalized. According to the NIC, it has noticed that some firms are hiding behind reinsurance to cover up their inability to raise the required capital from the financial market. Speaking at the ninth Ghana Reinsurance Awards, Justice Iao Ofori said the Commission is alarmed at the amount repatriated in respect to insurance premiums yearly. Established nine years ago, each year's occasion is used to recognize and reward some of these companies which have made notable contributions within a particular financial year towards the growth and profitability of a company. Commissioner of Insurance Justice Ufori mentioned regulators are aware some troubled companies hide behind reinsurance to cover up their inability to raise the required capital from the financial market and insolvency. Regulators are also aware that some troubled companies try to hide behind reinsurance as a way of overcoming or covering up their inability to raise required capital from the financial market as well as their insolvency. Speaking on the theme, the advent of enterprise risk management and its impact on the financial sector, Managing Director of Stambik Bank, Al Hassan Andani, disclosed the Sedan's awards are an industrial benchmark in the financial sector, adding it helps insurance firms to aim higher in achieving every year. The Sedan's awards is really an industry benchmark and it's something all of our award winners and indeed insurance companies and practitioners look forward to. It is therefore appropriate at this stage to congratulate the board management of Ghana Re for sustaining this event. In his acceptance speech, Daniel Boy Ado, managing director of Hollard Insurance Ghana, expressed gratitude to Ghana Reinsurance and congratulated other award winners. I think it's exciting that whilst we get to spread our risk by seeding business to Ghana Reinsurance, we get to be awarded every year and then win something that helps to train our staff. I say congrats to all fellow recipients. Some award winners also spoke to Joy News. I feel good. 2017 has been a tough year, just like 2018, the past that we have seen so far. So if out of the a number you are chosen as the best, 
it only goes to prove that maybe you are doing something right. This means a lot to Ghana Union Assurance because uh, we've been in this business for almost over 80 years now. And Ghana really have been a dependable partner with us and most of our businesses we place uh, as a foremost insurer. So, I mean, rewarding and recognizing our efforts go a long way to spare us on to place more business with them. I mean, the relationship is mutual. Other companies that received awards on the night included MetLife Insurance Company Limited, Life Business Sedant of the Year 2017, KK Reinsurance Brokers Limited, Broker Business Special Award, Ghana Union Assurance Limited, first runner-up, Sedant of the Year 2017, among others. Joshua Smith's report for Joy News. How we end business today. My name is Odilian Tiamwa. Let's meet again at 12.30 for more business.